Yeah, I'm from uh, Albie from The Sopranos, but in New York City, Matt, he is known as the unofficial mayor of Little Italy and now becoming the unofficial mayor of Coney Island. Good morning, Chacha. How are you? I think Marty Markowitz is going to get mad at that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> and where do we begin with your illustrious career, my friend? I don't know. I get up in the morning and I go in one direction and I wind up in another direction. Well, first right. of all, let's talk about uh, your time on The Sopranos. That had to have been an amazing ride. That was the greatest uh, show I've ever worked on. And I actually turned him down twice. You were the, like, I don't In the you. first five seasons. That or the role wasn't big enough. One time they wanted me to play a rat. I says, I'm born and raised on Mulberry Street. I can't play a rat. Because <laughs> people believe what they see on the air. Of course, that's conviction. Right? So they, I would be walking down the street, and they would say, hey, there's that rat. <laughs> there's so Cha-Cha the rat. After five <laughs> seasons, what, what made you finally decide to uh, be on the show? Well, I, you know, it was New Year's Eve. I was having dinner in the uh, um, SPQR, and little Stephen called me. says, I can't get a reservation in Little Italy for New Year's. And imagine little Stephen can't get a reservation, right? The king so, of yeah. uh, rock and roll there. He calls the guy with the connection. And... I said, that's okay, I'm having New Year's Eve in SPQR. And uh, he said, but I'm with 24 people. I oh. says, that's okay, I'm not going to pick up your check. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I set him up with a table of 24 people. He's right next to me and my mom, may she rest in peace. My wife, Karen, my brother Vito, and his wife Fran, and the daughter, my goddaughter, uh, little Lauren. And we're having a great family dinner, and Chase comes over to me. Like, I'm not even, like, chasing him, right? He comes over to me, and he says, you know, you got a very interesting face. How come i never seen you on The Sopranos? And I says, I actually turned you down twice. You said this to David <laughs> yeah. Chase, and what did he say? And he says, how could that be? I said, well, George Ann Walken is a friend of mine. She's casting your show. She called me in twice. Once, they wanted me to play a rat. And the second time, the role wasn't big enough. I was shooting a pilot in Italy that my wife was directing, an ice cream show. He says, I got something for you. And that's how I wound up on The Sopranos. The rest is history. Well, I, actually, I was working on the Wise Guy show for Sirius, and we were uh, on the red carpet interviewing Sopranos. And Chase uh, is the last one down the red carpet, and I got to do an interview with him. Everybody else I know, they're all friends of mine. And I do an interview with him, and I says to him, I was trying to get into why they whacked Big Pussy, right? Because there's a, a lot sure. of rumors around about sure. it, why he got whacked. And I says to him, I heard when you get bored with a character, you have him whacked. And he says, no, it's not when I get bored with the character, it's when I get bored. <laughs> <laughs> I have somebody <laughs> whacked. And, uh, now we're I talking says, about the show, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I says, by the way, you know it's bad luck for an Italian to make a promise on New Year's Eve and not keep it? He said, the minute I seen your face, I knew it. I love it. We're talking to Cha-Cha. He was Albie on The Sopranos. And uh, we have a trivia question for you, by the way. Our producer here, Matt Ayani and Jason, who works on the show, they have a little off-air debate going. And they're like, we got to ask him. we got to ask him. You guys ready to uh, yeah. ask Cha-Cha about this? Absolutely. So Jason and I were talking, and we know you were in Goodfellas, but we didn't look up your character or your role. And I said you were in the scene where um, um, the, they, they, they whacked the boss. Um, he just got out of prison. Um, it's the guy that that's plays Phil Leotardo. Billy Bats. Billy Bats. I said you were at the bar with him. You were one of his friends. And Jason says... I disagree. I think that you're in the scene when Lorraine Bracco comes in and gets mad at Ray Liotta and says, where do you think you are? Frankie Valerie, someone standing me up? I can swear you were in that scene. No, no, I was at the bar with Billy Bats. <laughs> ah. When he says, go home and get ah. your mm -mm, shine I just, box. I just mm -hmm.